Good morning. How are you guys doing today? It is the morning of day two, and look at that view. Heard that all last night. That was lulled me off to sleep. I slept well last night, pretty well. Why, good morning. Good, good morning, Chad. But, <laughs> yeah, we were having a hard time with the stakes. The stakes did not want to go in the ground, but my tent stayed up. So, yep, slept fine, mighty fine. But we didn't have any neighbors last night. Over here at site number two, we, I've commandeered it to be my kitchen. Yep, over here, there's my kitchen over there. Got my coffee. So yeah, we're gonna be eating a bit of food and hitting the trail. It's gonna be a, looking at the map, it's gonna be a little bit of a tough one today. I don't know if it's gonna be as bad. I don't know if it's going to be as bad as yesterday, but uh, I'm not too sore. A little stiff in the shoulders, mostly fatigue. I'm I'm pretty tired, but that's going to work itself out as I go. So I think we're going to probably we're going to get us some breakfast, pack up our stuff, and get going. And uh, uh, we'll see you in the next bit. Whew. So we're about an hour since breaking camp and I'm beat. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it's steep. But uh, taking a little short break because I found something I want to share with you guys. So there's that. That's cool. Yeah, that's nice. But, oh. Look at that. Oh, that is so pretty. Nice and cool right here. Yeah. That's gorgeous. That's a gorgeous little waterfall with all the moss. I dig it. I could stay here all day. But I can't. I got a long ways to go. We got to do 10 miles today, so hopefully we'll all make it. <laughs> well, I found the gravel mountain biome. If you Minecrafters are watching, you get the joke. And if you're not, well, it's a Minecraft joke. That's a lot of talus. I'm glad we're not having to walk across that. But it's quite dramatic. And then we keep on keeping on. Call this Traeger Meadow. And catch it on a nice sunny day with no smoke. I bet it's gorgeous. I mean, it's gorgeous now, but. It's a, uh, this smoke kind of takes a lot of the fun out of it. More uphill, way uphill. Getting a little tired of having to go up. Up, 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 always up. One of these days, we're gonna get down. And uh, I'm hoping that soon. Supposedly, we're just not too far from the pass. And then it starts going down some. That'll be too soon for me.
Hooray. Guess what this is? You know what this is? This is, this is the spot I've been looking for. This is top of the pass. Look at that. We go down. Oh yeah. Carved out of the living earth. <laughs> it's like a wasteland down there. This is kind of creepy. The uh, path of the Winthrop Glacier, which is way back up there. Can't see for the smoke, but it's like some kind of sci-fi mortal engine carved down through here. It's crazy. And then back over here, I'm not sure what the story is there. But, yeah, thought this was interesting enough to stop the video. It's crazy. So, in case you're wondering, yes, we had to cross that. <laughs> yeah, you can see the trail if you look close. We were up on that point right there. And then beep, 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 beep. across we went. You couldn't really see from this side. That massive landslide just eating, getting eroded away. This is it was creepy coming across there. It was weird. Post-apocalyptic. Still got a little bit over here. And then we go back up into the trees. And then we're gonna start going up. Oh, I'm getting tired of up. <laughs> this is one of the weirder parts of the trail to me. We've been walking about half a mile or a mile of this stuff. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy. Post-apocalyptic. And uh, pretty hard on the feet. Not necessarily hard coming up and down it, but pounds your feet pretty good. And up there, I uh, hope you can see it. I don't know, won't know until I get home. But we believe that's the Edmonds Glacier, Edmonds Glacier. And uh, that's what has done all of this destruction. And that water is cold, cold, cold. It's the sound of a glacier melting, creating a river. That's more of it. And I didn't get it on tape, but a massive piece of rock or ice came down from right about there. Fell all the way down. That was wow, that was that was an experience. I wish I'd have got it on tape. I'm hoping another piece falls. But that is why you can't go over there and touch it. Dangerous. That stuff's falling. Can't take it anymore. I need air evac, a bag of Cheetos, and video on demand. I'm done. I'm tapping out. <laughs> no, where we made it to Granite Creek. Ugh. I'm sore and tired. That's going to be a common refrain on this trip, but I made it. And uh, we came from over there. And. Uh, this is going to be a campsite. That's where my tent's going. And I have my throne. Yes. I shall be king. I am king of the site. This is where we're going to set up at. So, uh, yeah. Time to set set up camp and make uh, make some supper. Ooh, Ooh yeah, the water is down there. So I got to walk down there get water bring it back up and uh, my legs are a little rubbery a little shaky but you know it's fine a little bit of vitamin I ibuprofen will set me up just fine I think uh, this leg was not as difficult as yesterday but I saw some amazing things I saw an avalanche off of a glacier uh, walked through a glacier field 
Chad's over there half naked because he just went down and cleaned up a bit. Great. Yeah, yeah. My eyes, my eyes. I do need evac now. <laughs> no, this was this was a tough leg, but not as bad as yesterday. But it was amazing. There was some really cool stuff on it. Uh, as the smoke though, the smoke is disappointing. Uh, a lot of the vistas, the big, you know, the big mountains, the grand things, you know, we can't see because of smoke. Uh, it's not really affecting the up-close stuff, you know, the big trees and the, the beautiful waterfalls. We can still see that pretty well, but it's a little disappointing. We, we barely glimpsed the outline of Rainier, uh, you know, and that's disappointing. So, I think one of our plans is to... Uh, maybe uh you know do the wonderland so we can check it off our boxes off our list but then come back and do some of the sections that we thought was like really nice and do it when the weather's better and, and we can see better you know so i <clears throat> think that's going to be it for tonight i got to make some food and then collapse into a broken heap so uh i guess we'll see you in the morning